Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Here in the United States of America, we have this little movement, uh, anti-bullying, which is a good thing. The problem is uh, there's a threshold where you can call someone trying to achieve a goal a bully. For instance, if I want to get a job and I'm fighting for the job and somehow I win that, I could be considered a bully by uh, someone who lost uh, because I won. Why? Because my abilities. So I was a bully actually. So they uh, sometimes cross this um, uh, how with the, the, the border borderline of what's a bully and what is I lost and therefore I call you names and they try to uh, bash you for that. So um, let's put it this way. A, a bully is a, um, an entity, a person, let's put it this way, or a country which is formed by uh, uh, people uh, that are uh, trying to get certain things in a, uh, you know, aggressive uh, manner, verbal or, you know, physical, both. But how do they usually do it? It depends on the power, the strength of the entity. If I'm very strong and I know the other side that I'm going to bully is weak, I'm going to go straight and go to whatever I want. and I'm going to grab it and you're not going to do anything. And I'm going to make fun of you and all that. All I'm going to get to the maximum from zero to 100 in one second. If I'm not that strong, so if I'm a little bit, you know, I'm, I have doubts that maybe that person could retaliate, defend himself or defend herself. I will try to win psychologic uh, warfare on that person, psychologically. How do I do that? I start slow, little, 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 little. And then that person, if I don't encounter a position from the other side, I'm going to up it a little bit. I'm going to, again, a little bit higher higher, higher. I'm going to escalate it little by little, small steps. Depends how depends on how strong I feel and how weak I think the other person is. If the other person does not defend itself, I'm going to go continue doing that. Until that person is going to be too late is a breaking point, after which that person will not have a chance of retaliating or it's going to be very hard for that person to decide, now I'm going to defend myself right here. That's that boiling point, you know, the critical mass lose that, that's it. So, uh, that, but that's a bully, it has to have some power. For instance, uh, I have here Poland and Poland tries, is, he's a little, is a little bully, is a little bully that tries to bully Germany. Now, Germany is weak just because it's made weak by the United States of America. And Germany is actually the Trojan's horse of Trojan horse of the United States in Europe, one of them. Great Britain is the other one. Where Great Britain actually is outside of the main land. Let's put it this way of uh, Europe. Some people don't even consider themselves being in Europe, being in Great Britain. I know that one, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just saying this. And there are some other countries who are just uh, you know the Trojan horse, but some of them are outright boom uh, under the occupation, which is Germany has. <laughs> I don't have to go into that. So what did, uh, for instance, Poland do? Poland demanded and gave um, Germany a bill for World War II reparations of $1.3 trillion. The Germans said, move it. That means, you know, he didn't fall for the little bully thing. Now, I do not know uh, who's right here. Is the, the Poles or the Germans? Why? The Poles said, you need to pay. The Germans said, we did pay. In the 60s and 70s, we solved the problems with Poland's government of that time. So, bye-bye. So, now, anyway, they were refused. They were kicked in the balls. Get the f out of here. Okay, so what's doing now Poland? Not alone, because Poland is not acting against Germany because it got, you know, I'm going to, get because they know Germany could not really retaliate that's all they can do for now they're gonna go and cry to you know daddy and all that the problem is supposedly or accordingly to this uh, article coming from none other than the liars from uh, Russia today correct uh, they tell us that actually Poland uh, reveals plans to make Russia pay for World War II so these guys are not stopping at Germany they will look for Russia to pay. Now remember, uh, a bully, or a, how should I put it, a strong country, look at it as a lion. You know, sometimes the lion, if you watch documentaries, 
when the lionesses are uh, killing something, let's say a buffalo, he just shows up and takes over. But how does he do? He goes straight over there, uh, roars a little bit, straight, everybody moves to the side and he eats. And then you have Poland. This is Russia, this is uh, China, this is United States behavior. And then you have Poland. And Poland is like that little um, jackal who comes while the lion is eating and trying to get a bite. He's not going to come like the lion, roar and just push the lion away because he knows it's lack of, you know? So it comes closer, comes closer, comes closer. And if this guy does not react, he's going to keep trying and, you know, advancing this time here, next time a little bit closer, next time closer. If this guy is not allowed, he's going to bite a little bit from the buffalo, go here and kick, 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 eat the food, you know, until this guy is going to smack him if he can. So I think this is what Poland does. First, it dared to tell the Germans we need reparations or something. And now they're going to go to Russia. Why? Because it's open season for everything that's Russian to be, if you know what I mean. Now, are they entitled to that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that Poland and Soviet Union solved that problem a long time ago. And, uh, but I don't know. But the, my point is here, they're going to go and, you know, ask for money now for all these countries. Now, there are many other countries in Europe that were invaded by Germany, they were invaded by, you know, Soviet Union and so on. I think I haven't heard anybody saying anything about it, but Poland. How come? Well, I don't want to say that the Poland are really troublemakers, but since uh, uh, February 24th, 2022, they've been the biggest supporters, click, click, they have territories in uh, Ukraine, mind you, that they really <coughs> eyeballing. But anyway, that's just my interpretation, my crazy interpretation of what uh, they really want and their love for the Russians. So they are, you know, really... I think these are the, you know, uh, the hidden reasons why the Poles are so upset about uh, this and that. Remember, if the Poles deserve that, because the Russians did them wrong, by all means. But the problem is, don't you think it's a little bit uh, uh, curious, coincidental, that right now, right now, they didn't know this uh, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. What changed that now they come up and say, you know what, we need money here. We need money from you, Germany, and we need especially from you, Russia. Let me read you this article so uh, um, you're going to see what I'm talking about here. So Warsaw's attempts to squeeze Germany for cash could pave the way for similar case against Moscow, a senior official has claimed. So Poland reveals plans to make Russia pay for World War II. Well, okay. Poland could demand World War II reparations from Russia as the successor state to the USSR, but only if persuades Germany to pay a similar bill first, a senior official in Warsaw has claimed. Berlin has thus far rejected 1.3 trillion euros, 1.43 trillion dollars, claim from Poland over the Nazi occupation, arguing that the issue has long been settled. And I'm quoting, we treat Berlin and Moscow in a different civilization way. Ooh. Polish Secretary of State Markus Przydac, I would say, Przydac, Przydac, told the Financial Times in an article published on Tuesday, and I'm quoting, once there will be a success with Germany, the next step could be to launch such a discussion with the other oppressor. Okay, why don't you go, for instance, in, I don't know, in uh, uh, 1798, when you were dismembered as a state. And you go then and tell those guys who dismembered you, uh, which could be again, uh, maybe Russia, and tell them, hey, maybe you need to pay because we were no country until 1918. How about that? Or maybe other countries are going to uh, do the same thing to you. Like, for instance, I have a claim as a uh, Romanian-born weasel uh, against Poland because Poland attacked many, 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 many times uh, the territory of Romania, Moldova in the 15th, 16th century. How about that? How can we do with that? What are we going to do with that? Yes, yes, you came and you attacked my people. And you killed a lot of them, you plundered. Mm -mm. Can you give us anything back? Or you say no? 
All right then, you see, there's many things like this when this one country did something to another country and another country did to them. So if Poland is the one that's whining right now because of the, uh, what the Soviets did, remember, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union as well. So yeah, they say that Russia is the, um, how, what word did they uh, use here? The successor state of uh, Soviet Union in some terms, in some terms. Because uh, remember, uh, Ukraine and other countries, other countries, other nations, other, how do you want to call them? Moldova, Republic of Moldova was part of the Soviet Union as well. Remember, Stalin was the one who gave the order. Stalin was a Georgian. Why don't you go and ask Georgia to give you? Why don't you ask Kaganovich, for instance, and others, and talk about the Katyn Forest massacre? Why don't you get the people? Why don't you take their descendants, do a collective punishment? How about that? Let's put a Middle Eastern... Uh, uh, set of uh, laws here and forget about ours which is uh, the Roman law how about that how about we go back to the tribal way of dealing things with the club boom I'm stronger I'm doing that oh it's already already been done my bad so anyway um, I thought I would share uh, I know probably probably <sighs> how should I put it it's just the timing that is very strange that's all. And the timing that, uh, you know, if it's just for the polls to ask for that and they have a case that will be heard by uh, the European Union Commission and other organizations and so on. And if Germany will be made to pay uh, because they deserve legally, then they should pay. But I think it's just a coincidence and it seems like they're the only ones crying here. Uh, imagine, let's say, the Lithuanians will start crying and say, well, Russia, you owe us. Why? Well, you're the successor state of uh, USSR and you had us and during your occupation, the Soviet Union, the Russian's occupation, you know, by ex expanding it only to Russia or limiting only to Russia, you had us, what, from 1940-some, uh, or what, no, you, yeah, is that what you had it? You had it from, uh, you had it under your system for so many years, how much damage you did to other, our, our, our culture, our economy, our so on and so on. You owe us. So like this, anybody can owe anybody. I mean, really. I don't remember anyway Vietnam uh, asking for reparations from the United States of America. Did they? Or I don't know, maybe the Woodchuck, the North Koreans asking the Americans for reparations. No? Anyway, and why not? Uh, because uh, they shouldn't. And many, many. I mean, I, didn't rem I don't remember, for instance, China asking some European countries, including the United States of America, for reparations. Did you ask, for instance, uh, see if uh, Tokyo... Uh, Ask uh, Washington for some reparation from Hirosh for Hir Hiroshima or Nagasaki. I don't hear that. Well, it's all kind of, I'm sorry, or this or, should never happen again. Well, you know, after my family is uh, killed by uh, that guy's family, uh, or a sorry is not enough. I don't think it's for you, because if it would be for you, then we'd be in big trouble. So anyway, this is my point with this one. If we go with this and we go to reparations, there's a lot of reparations to go around. So even the ones who cry for reparations, you can look somewhere in history because there's no saints. Then you can find they actually have to, uh, you know, provide others with reparations. So, but anyway, I, as a Romanian-born weasel, I will also ask reparations for the United States of America. And I tell you why. Because the United States of America left Romanians in the claws of the Soviet Union. So I will ask reparations from Ukraine as well. I am from Lithuania, I was part of the Soviet Union, so I'm going to ask them for reparations. How about that? No? Well, I was hurt, my country was hurt, my people were hurt because of you. Because you made deals with evil Georgian Stalin. No? See, that's why I'm so messed up. And I see therapists. <laughs> therapists. Did you break therapist in two? Like take the T H E, the, and the rapist? The rapist? therapist anyway it was just me uh, i think just me <laughs> anyway so yes poland if you're right you should receive it back but then you should also give to some <clears throat> i already told you and it's not only romania there are many other countries that uh, poland was when poland was like this in europe and it was a time uh, they uh, destroyed a lot of things so and they built a lot of things as well but hey we go now into uh, um, other issues well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.